All right, guys, welcome back. AJ, let's talk sports. We're talking about the Cincinnati Reds baseball team. Yes, they're in last place. A lot of grumbling about the ownership, about the corporation, about what's going on. I don't want to get into all that today, but we're going to talk about the highlights and some recap right behind me. Stuff's going on. It's pretty sweet. So hope you guys enjoy that at least, and you don't have to see my ugly noggin the whole time while I'm trying to talk about the sports, but you can see them on the bottom left. Don't forget to subscribe, bottom right, click on that, pretty sweet. All right, I got a lot of stuff written down here, got a lot of stats and facts for you guys, because uh, that, that's what I do. Also in the description, click on the Linktree app, look at my sponsorships, and you get the same deals I get, by the way. So just click on that, see if you like anything on there, Tr Christian Cafe to Wine on Sale to even if you want to go solar power energy for your house commercial places. Pretty sweet. Anyways, Taylor Malley. Uh, he's, he gets his third loss of the th season. He's only one for three against the Padres. And again, that was Thursday night baseball yesterday. And we're going to talk more about today they play, but in Colorado. We're going to talk more about that. He allowed three runs, six hits, two walks. 5.1 innings, but he did get 5K, so that's one strikeout per inning, which isn't too bad, but he gets the L. Tony Santolin. He's been struggling as of late, but he had an opening day save, but since then, he has declined with an ERA of 8.10, which is not that great. Mike Mostakis back from the injured list. He gets two hits on his first game back, two for three with a walk, two runs, and an RBI. So that's good. Runs batted in, by the way, for you guys that don't know that. Uh, Reds aim to end three-game losing streak. They, Like I said, they're playing the Colorado Rockies. They're in Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Coors Field. We'll talk about that. And the odds predictions and who I plan to pick. All right, here we go. Uh, Reds in last place. Three of 16. Sorry, we, we look like the major league team of the Cleveland old school Indians. I don't know if I can say that, but it was what their name was back in the day. And that's what they look like on the movie if you ever watched Major League. By the way, fun movie. Reds versus Rockies. All right, we're going to get some odds and predictions here. Just give you a little bit of a rundown and recap from just Thursday's game. And Green versus Sanzatella. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Sanzatella and Hunter Green get the start for the pitching matchups. Going to be battling out at Coors Field, 840 tonight. It's a Friday night. Stay up and watch it on MLB TV. I think it's on regular TV. I know, I'm not sure, but if you're in Colorado, you better watch it because it's local. So hopefully it's on ESPN Plus, but I don't know. Anyways, 14 bucks if you're out there by Coors Field. It's only $14 for the game. Odds and predictions. Colorado is minus 120. Um, the run line is minus 1.5 for Colorado, plus 1.5 for Cincinnati. The money line is a minus 120 for Colorado and a plus 100 for Cincinnati. The over-under is 10.5 runs, though. That's quite a bit from the 7.5 from when they played the San Diego Padres. 57 degrees there, Coors Field. And the balls go flying out there in Coors Field, though, because, you know, the air is thinner and it goes flying in with um, Hunter Hopeful Hunter is what I wrote down. Hopeful Hunter gets a dub. That's I already picked it. He's one of two. Look at his stats right now. His ERA is 5.27. He's going to better that. He's got 16 cages tied for 75th, 76th in the Major League Baseball. So I think that he's going to get the win. And I'm hoping, I'm hopeful, Hopeful Hunter is going to get the dub at Coors Field. And Cincinnati is going to come out with a big win. I mean, it's only a plus 100 uh, for the stats, uh, for the odds predictions. But um, I, on the over-under, though, with a 10.5, I might have to go under on that. But I don't know. It's at Coors Field. But under. Let's just go under. I say I said under. We're going to stick with under. 10.5 uh, points scored, runs scored for the Cincinnati Reds versus Colorado Rockies there in Coors Field. Stay tuned for more recap highlights. Age of the Talk Sports. Love you guys. God bless. Tip the waitress.